Hi, I'm Peter Haddock, and today I'm going remote control here at the Molten Open Day with Frederick, your Husqvarna's demolition specialist here. That's and you great. bought some clever kit. Not only yeah. is this quite comfortable, I might add, when you're going to do some remote controls, I've got to have something to remote control. This is one of three units we've got on display here. Tell me a little bit about this, the DXR315 and what it does. It does demolition, but we actually have four machines on display here today. Oh, we, right. we have three machines in the two-ton range yep. and one machine in the one-ton range. So that's what we do. And this is the largest one we have in our two-ton range. Yep. And it has a reach, it has a telescopic second arm, so it has a longer reach than the other two machines we will have a, a look at soon. All kinds of various uh, demolition tasks with these type of robots. And you do it with a remote control, so you're at a safe distance. Yep. So that, that's really a nice benefit. And they are electrically, hydraulically driven, uh, which makes them really good for the environment. You have no exhaust fumes and so on. So going indoors and doing uh, demolition work indoors is the main application for these robots. And what's interesting about this, folks, is, you know, the way in which we see remote controls, that they're, they're really quite heavy sometimes. This is very light, but you've yeah. also given me this strap. Because yeah. what we're talking about here is going into structures and probably spending all day in that structure, oh, yeah. actually manoeuvring this around and breaking things up, and then even coming back to change attachments. Because, folks, these machines have got lots and lots of different attachments with different yeah. applications. Yeah. So we're saying here that this is, is a cabled machine as well, aren't we? So yeah. literally getting electrical cable in there and obviously moves into the, the job site and yeah. we're safe uh, from that distance. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, the machines are a tool carrier, so you can put all kinds of tools on it. And we have a wide range of uh, tools in the Husqvarna assortment, but then you can also add your, uh, tools from other manufacturers if you want to. It's easy to adapt them to our machine. So let's go and have a look at one of those other machines and a nice little tool that we've got on it. So folks, here we've got the EpiRock attachment here. It's, what is this attachment? What, what would it be used for? And, the, and what machine have we got here now? This is the Dixor 275. It's the smallest one in our two-ton range. It's slightly below two tons. You're right. And uh, the EpiRock drum cutter that's used for various material removal on, uh, on the surface of, of a floor or on a wall. Right. So you can remove contaminations or, or just middle of concrete or whatever you want. So then a specialist tool there, and this machine, actually all of them, you know, we've seen they're really, really tight and confined, yet yep. really look like a powerful machine. Now, this is the, the issue for me, you know, when you've got a smaller machine like this, has it got the power to actually do the job? Or are we there all day going, oh, I'm waiting for it? It has a lot of power. I mean, uh, the, the, uh, the demolition robots, they pack a lot of power compared to their size. Yeah. Since they're electrically driven, they have a lot of power. When we come over to the 305, I will tell you more about the power, because that's the powerhouse of our range. Right, and so the powerhouse of the range, better start getting over there, folks, yeah. because I'm really keen to get this moving in the demo area. Come on, let's have a look. Let's go. So, so this is the powerhouse of our, our demolition robot, the Dixar 305. The performance of it is 27 kilowatts. That's quite a lot for yeah. this size of a machine. And yet it's narrow enough to go through a standard doorway. Right. And the performance of it is 85 liters per minute. And it uses the Eprock 302 breaker as its uh, most powerful tool. And that, that packs a lot of power. So, so we're talking here about three, four different ranges of products that we're seeing here. First time I've ever come into this sort of area and sector. You know, we now have an opportunity to, to do things faster. We've oh, yeah. got the power but also we've got uh, that if, protection. If we? you want to compare the power of this machine to an excavator, this, yeah. it packs the same type of power as an eight to 10 tons excavator. Really? And it's only two tons. Wow. So that's, that's the amount of power available in this 305 DXR. So when we're talking about powering these things, folks, what do we actually have to do? Where do we have to find the power? What kind of power do we need to go into the machines, that electric you, you capability? Need, you, you need an electric cable. If you want to run full power all day long, you need a 63 amp uh, grid connection. Right. But often you can start them on a smaller one, but then you might be, have to be a little bit careful of the power you use uh, not to trip the fuse. But 63 amps is preferable for these machines too. And of course, folks, if you're ever going to be using one of these machines, you certainly will have done your prep beforehand, you know, but it's taking yeah. us to another level here. Tiny little things with electric cables, yeah. capable of doing stuff large excavators do. 
no cab, so there's no person in it. We can go in lots of different places and straight through the door. And I'm going to go straight through that gate right now so I can have a go myself. Cheers. Cheers.